again and it's basically time for like a kind of sum up or retrospective whatever you want to call it of the movie tie-ins um, episodes that I've been doing. Basically I set out just to find great movie tie-in games and I was extremely surprised at how many I found. Um, talking to you guys in the comments I found loads more and yet it's just been a bit of a journey um, and you know kind of just learning all these great movie tie-in games when I've spent the majority of my life under this crazy misconception that movie tie-in games were bad for some reason and also speaking to you guys in the comment section I know that that's like a common thing like a lot of people have this you know this thought that all movie tie-in games are bad but I think I've proved that they're not I mean I started on NES to Super Nintendo to PlayStation PlayStation 2 so multiple systems spanning you know what two decades or something and we've found loads and this you know I'm, this is just the tip of the iceberg I've had so many suggestions and stuff and it's just been absolutely mind-blowing to think that you know I've overlooked lots of games just simply for the fact that they're based on movies and the chances are they're going to be crap now I will admit that you know a lot of them are bad I mean we talked about the NAS everyone knows LGN's legacy um, of just making really really bad movie games but I mean Sunsoft did a great job on NAS and you know Ocean he has another company that made great movie tying games you know honorable mentions and um, Robocop made by Ocean as well brilliant movie tying game and um, also as well games made of movies that came out years before Alien Trilogy here yeah, that's a great example and um, the the game came out years after any of the movies did and it didn't detract from how good the game was in fact it maybe made it even better and um, and I've got a few more honourable mentions for games like that. I mean, there was The Warriors and The Thing, um, both on PlayStation 2 and Xbox. And they were really, really great movie tie-in games that were based on movies that were made years before. Um, in fact, The Thing was based on a remake of a movie made in the 1950s. So, you know, it just goes back years and years and years. So it's strange to think how you could make a movie tie-in game of a movie so old, and yet it's still really successful and fun to play absolutely mind blown yeah but anyway i just wanted you all to know that you know basically i'm going to get back to me me bargain pickup videos and why i loves and load of old bollocks i just kind of went on this bit of a diversion i got kind of sidetracked but it's been really enjoyable and i'm um, talking to you guys in the comments section about you know great movie time games you guys have played and you know your thoughts on movie time games has just been fascinating as well so you know hearing your feedback and just you know generally going on a bit of a journey myself it's just been really fun but I got a bit sidetracked I'll get back to all my normal videos but if I come across any more in the future great movie tie-in games surely I'll uh, keep you updated and just you know do another episode on it but that's pretty much it I just wanted you know to let you know what the crack was so thank you very much for watching people I'll leave us like I always do and just you know if you've enjoyed what you've seen maybe just hit the like button or even leave us a comment because I love some feedback and if you enjoyed it in particular hit that subscribe button and also you can follow us on Twitter at Mongoose on a uni and that's it yes thanks for watching people hopefully I'll catch you next time bye